Hello students, welcome to TSAC classes, welcome to classes on Indian polity and constitution. As part of TSPSC group 1 main series, in the last class we have started chapter 5 of Indian polity and constitution. Let us take Indian polity and constitution and let us see the last class on polity series and that is your chapter 5 second class. In the last class, we have seen and discussed about Panchayati Raj institutions and municipalities. As part of the Panchayati Raj institutions and municipalities, we saw the evolution as well as the 73rd and 74th Constitutional Amendment Acts and its features. In this class, let us see the other components of Chapter 5 in Indian Polity and Constitution. Now, what are the topics which are there in this Chapter 5? So, look at this, the federal system, center state relations, local self governance, water disputes, challenges of implementation. So, this we have seen in the last class. Now, let us concentrate on the federal center state relations, interstate disputes, etc. With respect to this particular topic, let us now see the first question. The first question, the question is very important, these type of questions are expected for your exam. In what circumstances the parliament can legislate on the state list subjects? Explain the statement with constitutional provisions, very important. Now, as I already discussed in my last class, we need to focus on three important elements in writing an answer. That is your introduction, subject and conclusion and conclusion. As part of the introduction, you need to explain the federal, the federal structure or federal you know the structure of the India. Schedule 7 is a main example why do India as a federal structure. Even though India is a federation, the union is much more stronger. So, that is in India there is a federation with strong union as said by KC where we are quasi federal, we are called quasi federal. In India we have federal features along with that we also have unitary features. What makes union stronger in a federation is when the union shows its hegemony over the states. As when the union shows, you know, its LD brother character over the states. As we are not a matured federation, the constitutional makers has allowed the parliament to legislate certain matters on the stateless subjects for states. So, let us discuss in what circumstances the parliament can legislate or can make legislations on the subjects mentioned in the stateless subjects. And with the help of the constitutional provisions, the word constitutional provisions is important. There are few articles with respect to this. What are they? Let, let us first list down the articles. The first article is Article, Article 249. The second one is Article 250. The third one is Article 252. Article 253. And Article 356. Right. The constitution men mentions about certain circumstances where the parliament, the parliament can make laws on state list subjects, state list subjects. These are the articles. Let us C one by one. The first one is Article 249. 
आर्टिकल टू फोर नाइन आर्टिकल टू फोर नाइन आर्टिकल टू फोर्टी नाइन नो वॉट इज आर्टिकल टू फोर्टी नाइन इट से इन अ नैशनल इंटरेस्ट इन अ नैशनल इंटरेस्ट इफ राज्य सभा इफ राज्य सभा पास ए रेजोल्यूशन इफ राज्य सभा पास ए रेजोल्यूशन बाई टू थर्ड मेजोरिटी बाई टू थर्ड मेजोरिटी इन अ नैशनल इंटरेस्ट इफ राज्य सभा पास ए रेजोल्यूशन बाई टू थर्ड मेजोरिटी इट प्रोवाइड्स द अथॉरिटी फॉर द पार्लियामेंट टू मेक लॉस राइट ऑन दी स्टेट लिस्ट सब्जेक्ट ऑन दी स्टेट लिस्ट सब्जेक्ट ऑन दी स्टेट लिस्ट सब्जेक्ट इट मेक्स द पार्लियामेंट इट गिवस अथॉरिटी टू द पार्लियामेंट टू मेक लॉस ऑन द स्टेट लिस्ट सब्जेक्ट सी वॉट इज आर्टिकल टू फोर्टी नाइन आर्टिकल टू फोर्टी नाइन से इन द नेशनल इंटरेस्ट वेन एवर देर इज अ नेशनल इंटरेस्ट राज्य सभा कैन पास अ रेजोल्यूशन विथ टू थर्ड मेजोरिटी एंड वेन राज्य सभा पास अ रेजोल्यूशन दैट प्रोवाइड्स अथॉरिटी टू द पार्लियामेंट टू मेक लॉस ऑन द स्टेट लिस्ट सब्जेक्ट दिस इज योर आर्टिकल टू फोर नाइन नो द सेकेंड वन इज आर्टिकल टू फाइव जीरो नो वॉट इज आर्टिकल टू फाइव जीरो आर्टिकल टू फाइव जीरो According to Article टू फाइव जीरो वेन एवर देर इज नैशनल एमरजेंसी इन इंडिया वेन एवर एज पर आर्टिकल थ्री फिफ्टी टू ए नैशनल एमरजेंसी इज प्रोक्लेम इन इंडिया वेन एवर देर इज ए नैशनल एमरजेंसी प्रोक्लेम्ड इन इंडिया दट द पार्लियामेंट द पार्लियामेंट कैन मेक लॉस द पार्लियामेंट कैन मेक लॉस ऑन दी स्टेट List subjects on the state list subjects. The Parliament can make laws on the state list subjects. The Parliament can make laws on the state list subjects. Very very important. Now what is the third one? Two five two. Very very important for the exam. Now two five two. Article two five two. Article two five two. Article two five two. When two or more states when two or more states request when two or more states request the parliament has the authority to make laws on the state list subjects on the state list subjects for that particular state for that particular state imagine if telangana and chatisgarh has requested the government of india to make laws on the subject which is part of the state list then the parliament can make a law on that particular state list subjects for telangana and chatisgarh only when two or more states request the parliament can make laws on the state list subjects for example we have wildlife protection act of 1972 it is made by the parliament on the request of few states that is the thing this is your article 252 the next one we have is article 253 right the parliament the parliament has the authority to make laws to make laws for any state for any state in implementing in implementing in implementing international treaties in implementing international treaties in implementing international treaties parliament has all the rights to make laws for implementing international treaties this is your article 253 253 the next and the final one we have is article 356 now what is article 356 i hope you all know what is article 356 Now, what is Article three five six? Right. Whenever there is a president rule, president rule, or this is also called state emergency. Whenever there is a state emergency in India, whenever there is a state emergency in India, the Parliament has the authority to make laws on the state. List subjects on the state list subjects. Parliament has all the rights to make laws on the state list subjects. So, 
these are the reasons why the when these are the circumstances when the parliament can make laws on the stateless subjects we have five important constitution provisions the first one is article 249 250 252 253 and 356 remember this for your exam you have to use this constitutional provisions while writing your answer let's go to the next question let's go to the next question yes discuss the administrative relations between the center and the state as enriched in the indian constitution discuss the administrative relations administrative relations administrative relations between center and state what is the meaning of administrative relations management governance welfare between center and state right as enriched in the constitution see the word is very important now what are the articles which are linked to administrative relations they are article 2562 article 263 article 256 to article 263 right article 312 of the constitution right article 350 a of the constitution article 351 of the constitution these are the particular articles mentioned within the constitution which directly discuss about the administrative relations between center and state let us dig each and every article in detail what is article 256 article 256 of the constitution says that article 256 of the constitution says that the state laws or state policies shall be aligned with the center the state law should comply with the center it cannot go against the center all the policies of the state shall be aligned to the center now what is article 257 what is article 257 article 257 says the center can any time ask the states to protect and look after its infrastructure the center can any time ask the states to look after and protect its infrastructure what is the infrastructure railways roadways waterways army cantonment boards etc the center can any time ask the state to protect and review and look after the infrastructure of the center this is your article 257 the next one we have is article 258 what is article 258 Article two five eight talks about the union can exercise, the union can exercise its control over the state via governor. The union can exercise its control over the state via governor. It can only exercise its control over the state via governor. Governor is like a mediator between the state administration and the union administration. right this is your article 258 the next one we have is article 259 now article 259 of the article 259 of the constitution has been repealed has been taken away has been deleted article 259 has been deleted by 7th constitutional amendment act the 7th constitutional amendment act has deleted article 259 of the constitution which talks about the center sending armed forces to the states for law and order for the protection of the law and order in the states the center can send their armed forces to the state right this has been deleted right next one is article 260 article 260 what is article 260 according to article 260 of the indian constitution right 
it is only the union it is only the parliament it is only the central government which can undergo legislative executive judicial understandings judicial agreements judicial mutual understandings between india and outside indian countries even the states also can sign an understanding with outside country but following a law made by the parliament a state has to follow the rules and regulations given by the parliament given by the central government right to you know cooperate to bring a cooperation between the other outside country and within the country this is your article 260 of the constitution now we have something called article 261 of the constitution article 261 of the constitution is the essence of the indian integrity article 261 of the indian constitution is the essence of the indian integrity what is article 261 it says that all the laws public records and judicial orders shall be accepted in full faith throughout the country according to article 261 it says all the laws in india public acts and judicial orders shall be accepted in full faith within the throughout the country throughout the country article 261 is the essence of the indian integrity very very important for the exam right next one is article 262 very very important for the exam article 262 is again very important for the exam now what is article 262 it says parliament may by law parliament by a law shall ensure to clear all the interstate water disputes the interstate water disputes between two states shall be solved by a law made by the parliament parliament has to come up with a law to solve the or to provide solution for interstate water disputes godavari river dispute krishna river dispute kaveri river dispute all the disputes between states should be solved by a law made by the parliament did parliament made any law yes there are two laws made by the parliament the first one is river board act 1956 the second one is interstate water dispute red drizzle act of 1956 now according to this interstate water dispute red select tribunals are created tribunals what is the meaning of tribunals fast track courts are formed godavari water tribunal krishna water tribunal kaveri water tribunal is formed on the basis of this act only article 262 is very important because interstate water disputes does not come under the original jurisdiction of the supreme court right it doesn't come under the original jurisdiction of the supreme court this is your article 262 of the constitution the next one we have is article 263 of the constitution now what is article 263 article 263 talks about interstate council the president of india by a presidential order shall form an interstate council why for cooperation coordination communication between all the states in india according to article 263 the president by a presidential order shall form interstate council for cooperation coordination and communication between all the states in india this is your article 263 of the indian constitution what is the next article we have article 312 article 312 of the constitution now what is article 312 of the constitution article 312 of the constitution deals with all india services it deals with all india services right now who has the authority to create an all india service first of all what is this all india services recruited by the center work for the state recruited by the center work for the state this all india services is created by the center work for the state who has the authority to create a new all india service it is parliament but for the parliament to create a new all india service a resolution must be passed in rajya sabha first 
only when a resolution is passed in Rajya Sabha, the parliament has the authority to create a new All India Service. The next one we have is the Article 350A of the Constitution. What is Article 350A of the Constitution? Right? The states shall take steps in providing primary education in mother tongue. Right? The states shall take steps in providing primary education in mother tongue. Right? They have to take the steps in providing primary education in mother tongue. This is one more important thing which you need to remember. The next one we have is Article 351. The next article of the Indian Constitution we have is Article 351. Now, what is Article 351? Article 351 talks about it is the duty of the center to provide directions to the state for the development of Hindi language, right? The center shall take steps, right? The center shall take steps for the development of Hindi language. All these are the administrative relations. All these are the administrative relations. All these are the administrative relations between center as well as state. So, this is your administrative relations between center and states. Let us go to the next question. Let us go to the next question.